everybody and welcome back to Chrono Trigger and this is part 20. So we had just, um, we're just about done the prehistoric, um, uh, well, the, uh, quest thing here. Um, so right now, um, you're gonna, right here, you're gonna see me doing some, a little bit of, uh, uh, like, checking on things and, um, Seeing who I want to have in my party, because uh, at this point, uh, Marl and Robo are pretty close to getting their next techniques. They're like, you know, less than a hundred uh, checkpoints away from their next stuff there. So it's kind of like, uh, do where do I, who do I swap in, and and whatnot. So um, I believe in the end, I I think I I continue continue to stick with uh, Marl. And, um, so we're going to be getting to the, um, the last boss of this area. And, um, it's actually just, uh, in that center, um, door right there. But we have to go on this right side to, uh, unlock it. And we're going to be fighting just a few monsters here. Um, I will be cutting them out because we've, we fought them already. And, um... Uh, you don't have to press any of these buttons here. Just go ahead and go up to the skull and try to talk to it and it will open up for you. You don't have to do anything. Um, I suppose you can do that middle one and that will get that, uh, or not the middle one, the, uh, the, well, yeah, I think it was the middle one where you get the save point. Uh, whatever one it was there. But, uh, so... Really, what I'm doing is uh, uh, trying to keep my my keep everybody just about um, fully healed, and um, so we're gonna be getting into. I don't want to say it's difficult, but um, the the whole battle takes quite a long time to beat, and um, so we're actually gonna be fighting. Uh, Osla and a, uh, a really huge, like, Tyrannosaurus dog-like thing. And typically, you know, it, they're, they're red tights, they're dinosaurs. And so they're, they're weak to lightning, as usual. So, um, I, you know, I, it was funny, um, when I was... Well, I was recording and I was like, okay, he's he should be weak to lightning stuff. And it was like it, was like it wasn't exactly working. But uh, then it started to be like, oh, now it's actually really working. And um, it, it's just, it, it's just a, te it, it's only tedious because he, uh, the Tyrannosaurus uh, thing only has, a, has like a lot of HP. So it's like, you know, um. I don't know how much he has, but he has quite a bit. Um, but anyways, you're going to see right here some uh, equipment management here. Just kind of giving somebody new equipment and then recycling the old to, to other party members. And I probably should speed up uh, these parts here, but I, um, uh, I'll, I'll probably remember to do that later on. So then that way it's not just uh, you just looking at nothing right here of me just managing my equipment there. Although I suppose it's good to see what I am doing so you get an idea of what to do. So so here we are. So if we go further there, we'll get into the battle there. So either... Now you could go all the way back to the, the save point there. I, th I think you can get that to come back. Um, if you had left it there, just like get that to show up and then you leave um then you could probably use like a use a a shelter or something but um though so actually i use up uh, i think i used up uh uh something there I, I didn't catch what it was but uh so this is what i was talking about here this is a like tyrannosaurus like looking like dog or something i don't know i, I just say dog because it has a leash over its neck there and it's kind of like a like a pet 
or something like that. But uh, I think I think it's just a dinosaur. And um, so this battle right here, there's going to be uh, we're going to be fighting Asla and the dinosaur here. Now Asla does not necessarily have a lot of HP, but he does take um, quite a bit of time to actually. Um, get rid of him because there is a point to where you can get rid of Ozla on top of the shoulders there, and then it's just the the dinosaur there so um, What I would do is uh, have Marl um, do her haste ability on everybody and Then have uh, Chrono and Alia do their combo of the the volt bite if you can if you have that um, ability and um, just kind of keep keep uh, Merle on standby for healing because um, you you'll want to keep an eye on your HP because you don't want to like get on like a attack frenzy and not pay attention to your HP there and um, so right here, this is me just seeing what is working. And right now, I think it's if you get rid of Asla first, then um, then the Tyrannosaur will actually start to like his defense will start to go down or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure how this battle works to be honest. Um, but uh, right now, uh, you want to just mainly focus your attack on Asla and get rid of him. Oh, it's a black trainer rod, just saying that. <laughs> now, just remember that uh, the initial attack for lightning won't necessarily do much, but then the next time, um, it will do damage, I think. So... Um, really what I would do is, uh, like I had said, keep, keep Merle on standby and actually just use her cure ability to just, you know, really heal a lot better than just doing Aura World. Because, um, usually only one person will get into, um, like that chomp thing that, uh, the dinosaur did. Um, I think it, it, it would cut anybody's, uh, HP almost in half, so... You'll want to actually just heal whoever gets chomped. And, um, so, really at this point, I I haven't seen, like, any, um, yeah, see right there, Ailey got chomped there, so she's going to take a lot of damage. So she's going to need healing. Thankfully, I did Aura Roll. So that way she's... At least relatively safe. But, uh, other than that, uh, just kind of keep your HP up there and you should do fine. Just, uh, just... Just kind of do what I'm doing here. Just, uh, have Marl and... Or not Marl, uh, Chrono and Alia do their, um, combo attacks there. Or if you want to do your single attacks, uh, you can see if that might work. So this uh, this countdown here, um, what that will be is, uh, uh, well, I mean, you'll see here. It'll actually do it, um, and actually, I think it hurts quite a bit. Um, this countdown is uh, the train, the black train, trano is going to do an attack to where it uh, shoots flame in like three directions repeatedly. It will kind of like shoot it repeatedly in one direction, and then in the center, and then to the le uh, to the right. And it will kind of do that, um, I think once or twice, I think. And it actually hurts. So, um, I would get ready to, to heal once that countdown gets close to one. So, um, yeah, it's, it's looking like, you know, it's like, okay, so I'm actually starting it to actually hurt, um, you know, hurt, uh, the Trano. Um, a little bit more. I think the uh, the lightning, um, like of of the defense going down, it's taking uh, a lot more than it should to get the defense down there to where you can hurt it a lot. 
and um, I think at some point uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't do like what uh, some of the other like the the Nisbel, um two did, where he like you'll release the electricity that was absorbed. And um, yeah, see, this is what I was talking about right here. Yeah, does it twice, and yeah, it does it does not a lot of damage as you saw there. It's not bad. Um, Oral can actually. Remedy that. And, um, I do it a few times just to get... Get almost a full health, I think. Um, now, there's something... I don't know what, what is doing it. The, there is a... Something that does drain your HP a little bit. I don't know what does that. I, I, I don't know if there's, like, a... A draining effect going on, uh, after that attack or something. Like, you're on fire. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. No. So, as you're seeing, I, I am having Chrono just kind of do some kind of lightning abilities. Um... And, uh, Chrono's, uh... MP is getting down there because I'm using that lightning 2 there and that actually does um, I think that takes like um, I think it's like 8 MP or something like that I don't remember what it was but I decided to yeah it was 8 um, so now that Aelia is gone or Asla got, is, is gone not Aelia <laughs> she's still there now we should be able to just continuously spam uh, the the volt bite because that will do lightning and physical damage at the same time. And as you'll see, the damage will yeah. So when it starts to do the countdown, the defense is removed. So then now is your time to actually get in there and do some um, attacks there. So when you see the countdown start, then do your your uh, your stuff there. Because now, as you'll see, it will do double the damage. Just like that. So, just kind of spam that during the countdown. And then uh, just have um, Marl just uh, kind of be there to heal a little bit in... Uh, you know, and then uh, if you need the MP there, have her use MP items. So I'm gonna be curing Chrono there because he's he's half. Yeah, I think he's. I think that's half. Yeah, relatively half. So you'll just be seeing me spam the uh, the Volt Bite there. And I believe he has like around, I, I think he has about around maybe 10,000 uh, HP, I think. I'm not sure. Because I did this a few times there and it gets pretty close to about 1,000 points and, um, yeah. So, I think everybody is full. On their health there so it's just a matter of just so when, when he does this attack there just kind of hold up and let everybody get their turn and then you can heal because it, it will probably not quite wipe everybody out if you get your HP high enough but so, so now we can just go back to what we were doing there Here's an electric boost. <laughs> 420! Blaze it! So yeah, right now, uh, uh, the defense is not... Um, his defense is up right now. And I don't know if he does it after a few times, but... So right now I think I'm healing yep, me and Marl. Getting her HP up there.
And yep, that's just pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm spamming uh, the uh, the Volt Bite there because that, that's pretty much the best attack I got so far. I, I, I don't know if maybe doing the uh, the Ice Sword would do anything. So the countdown is now starting and I'm doing... I'm just, why? I'm just continuing regardless, I guess, so might as well just do regardless. And, uh, and there we go. And that's it. So uh, then we get this, uh, little cutscene. And, um, we'll, we'll actually see what goes on here. Um, at this point in time, a lot that little, uh, green star in the sky, that is, uh, Lavos coming down. This is actually the point in time when Lavos came down. Um, and hit Earth, and then he just let uh, lay dormant for a very long time. Now this is uh, this is the scene right here of him actually coming down. So, um, it's not really explained on, like, where Lavos came from, um, so it's, I guess it's really, I mean, judging from this, I mean, he came from space, so it's an alien, um, life form, and I guess, uh, whatever it was, it, uh, got shot over here, and, um, so now it's, uh, yeah. And there's that familiar song. So we're gonna um, pretty much escape uh, via the pterodactyls here. And um, so Kino, uh, I, I guess he <laughs> came up here with him. That was kind of funny, like, uh, Alia was like, come on, come on, we're gonna go, and then, like, she gets back off and wastes even more, like, even more time than Kino did. And, um, wants, wants to see if, um, Asla would come with, but he doesn't want to come, uh, with the, with anybody. He doesn't want to, like, associate with the, the humans here. He's, he's kind of, pri he's doing a prideful, prideful thinking here. You know, um, I guess he knows he's doomed anyways. Because, uh, this will happen right here. And I'm sure he's dead. <laughs> well, that should be a familiar screech. So, yeah. Let's just, uh... Showing uh, the long distance scream of Lamos there. I guess we went further enough to be not in the caught in the blast. So. I don't know where they flew off to to be. Oh, they're probably uh, like on the mountains there. Like just um, just near the. the. Um... Oh, you know what? I think that they went to the. Um... Well, I mean, when we go back to the... As soon as we get back to the world map here, we'll be in front of the uh, the town right there. But uh, I guess they, they might have been on top of the the place where they, they got uh, the, the pterodactyls, but I don't know. But uh, but anyways, I am going to be uh, saving and quitting, and this will be the end of this uh, recording session. So I will see you guys in the next video. So anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.